the camera and say it at the same time. You will have 15 seconds to answer the question. Don't forget about the JTE rule, meaning you have three times you can ask to repeat the question during the entire match. You also have one challenge. If there's something that you believe is either correct or incorrect and you want to challenge that, you can. If it goes in your favor, you keep your challenge. If it does not go in your favor, you will lose your challenge for the entire match. Ethan, are you ready to go? Let's do it. Yolanda, are you ready to go? Let's go. Then let's get ready, ready to smile down. <laughs> Here we go, three rounds to a finish. All right, question number one. Here we go in the realm of animated films. What's the name of Pinocchio's sidekick? who helps act as his conscience throughout the 1940 films. Uh, do you remember the 1940s? I was not alive, but John Rocha was. Uh, my soul was. Oh, wow. Oh, that, you know, I sorry. actually respect that's the first time I've really respected what you've done in a while. got a girl from the audience. Yeah. Five, <laughs> four, three. Jimmy two, Cricket? Pens down, and Ethan. Jiminy Cricket. That is correct. That's correct. Right. Jiminy Cricket, she's... Did you have it? Jimmy Cricket. Cricket. Yes. Great. Right. Also, I'm left-handed, by also, the way. Also, I don't I apologize in advance. It's Jimmy. Both the competitors make oh, sure you say your answers as well when you show the board. Apologize right. for your affliction, Ethan. All right. Yeah. Question two, category comedies. Comedies. In 2006, Nacho Libre, what did Jack Black's character do for a living before becoming a wrestler? Uh, the greatest American art form, pro wrestling. I thought you were going to say Jack Black. Uh, you know, enjoys work in uh, Mars Attacks. Five. Is he in there? He was in Four. Mars Attacks. Oh, three. Two. A monk? One. Pens down. Yolanda. I don't know. So I was like, he was a sad man? Sad man? <laughs> Unfortunately, can't say that one, Ethan. Um, priest? Priest or a monk? I, 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 I might want to go for ruling on that one. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say we can't give it to you. Okay, Priest yeah. and monk are different. Yes, yeah, yeah. different. So yes. we can't give it to you there. Okay, next one. Wait, Do we have any monk. monks in the crowd? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dramas is your next category. Dramas is your yeah. Next category. He was a monk. Who directed both Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise in Eyes Wide Shut? That question happened differently in the last match. That was a that was an interesting. Thanks for chiming in there. Five. <laughs> Stanley Four, Kubrick. Three. I was thinking about that scene. Two. Yeah. One. <laughs> Ethan. Stanley Kubrick. That's correct. Yolanda. Stanley Kubrick. Okay, so we're tied board. up here. Erwin and Machado. Two, two. Fourth question in the category of horror, thriller, horror, thriller. Who directed 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, true story. I was raised a block away from Elm Street in Arroyo Grande, California. Thought this was a documentary. Did you ever go and get scared? Pee Five, my pants nightly. Four. <laughs> three. To West Craven. West Craven. That's right correct. Right point, Ethan. West Craven. That's, That's correct. All okay, tied up for Action adventure. Action adventure. Who played Jack Ryan in The Hunt for Red October? God. Yeah, let's see. Like, yeah. There's so many Jack Ryans these days. Yeah, there's a, there's a plethora. Not John Krasinski. Five, four, three, two, one. Sean Ethan. Connery? Alec Baldwin. Correct. correct. Oh, crap. I said Harrison Ford. Oh, she missed uh, it there. So Ethan movie. gets his one point lead, but they are neck and neck. Here, next category. All right, question six comes in the category of rom coms. Rom coms. What city is the setting for 2001's Amelie? I, uh, I own that movie and I watch it regularly. Is that the truth? Yeah. Well, I believe you. you Paris? You never surprise me. You always surprise me. You never surprise me. Five, four, three, Two, one, and Yolanda. Paris. Paris That's is correct. correct. Ethan. Mm. Ethan gets it. Ethan now. Takes a lead. Takes five, a lead. Four. Five, four. Okay. Five, four. Next question here. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays Scotty in the rebooted Star Trek movie series? I enjoy a good uh, reboot. Uh, reboot? Yeah. I usually reboot my lunch the next day in the microwave. <laughs> uh, leftover pizza and soup. Five. Four, Anton Yelchin. Two, one, Ethan. Simon Pegg. Correct. correct, Yolanda. Oh, crap, that's true. weakness. Oh, she missed it. Okay, so Ethan, Ethan's right. got himself I a confused it. here, but we have one more question around round number one. It is close. Ethan has six. Yolanda has four. All right, final question. Eight and final one is in the category of 1980s films. 1980s. What film stars Eddie Murphy, James Earl Jones as his father, and Arsenio Hall as his best friend? 
I'd like to have Arsenio Hall as a best friend. I like to have James yeah. Earl Jones as my dad. Five. Sorry, Dad. Four. Three. Two. Coming to America? Coming to America. That's correct. Deep base. Earthen. Coming to America. Coming to America. Oh, yeah. Ethan Irwin in his debut has seven points here. And Yolanda with a very nice start with five points. And now we get to round number two. Round number two, the wheel is going to oh, come I only out. got five. And the competitors will spin the wheel. They can choose to spin again if they don't like what they get the first time, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Each question is worth two points unless you opt for multiple choice. Don't forget about multiple choice. It will go down to one point, but you still have the option to do so. You can steal from your opponent in this round. 15 seconds to answer the question. You each have three JTE rules left and both have your challenges left as well. Okay. All right, Ethan, you are in the lead here. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, sure, I'll go first. You're gonna go first. Give Why it a not? big spin, please. Go to the wheel. Ethan Irwin will spin. Now we know that Ethan's we know Ethan's strength there. He's yeah. he's good at eight. He's good at trauma. High five. five. A lot of stuff on there. Wow. Good spin, please. I'm not sure how like sensitive. It is. Yeah. There's you go. There's the spin. That's, That's a spin there. So now Ethan is looking for a category. He's All right. He's trying to stay away from a opponent's choice in your opponent, debut. Yeah, opponent's <laughs> choice and Netflix documentaries. Is that a category? I don't know. So, but, oh, oh, but spinner's choice is interesting. Oh, spinner's choice is interesting. Got it. Got spinner's, spinner's choice. choice. What a debut spin for Irwin. So Irwin this, now. You can, you can Please give us a you selection, want. yes. Fantasy, fantasy sci-fi sci -fi. is what Ethan, all right, Ethan, go sit down in your chair, and then we will bring up fantasy sci-fi here for Ethan, who will get four questions in the realm. All right, Ethan, fantasy sci-fi, fantasy sci-fi, here we go. What on-screen tough girl played combat pilot Trudy Chaikin, who is sympathetic to the Navi in Avatar? Michelle Rodriguez? Michelle Rodriguez. Two points. Two points, yeah. Okay. Question two. Who played the beautiful Persephone in The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions? Oh. Ooh. I mean, I should know this since I work at the company. Uh, <laughs> Monica Bellucci. Two points. That's correct, two points. Yeah, that's true. Silver three, there right? comes that muckety-muck advantage. Yep. Who plays the eccentric pilot and crop duster in Independence Day? Uh, Randy Quaid. Two more points for Ethan. <laughs> that's true. Final question here, Ethan, in fantasy sci-fi. Who starred as Marion Snow, a convict in a Maxim Security Space Penitentiary in the 2013 sci-fi action film Lockout? Guy Pierce. Two more points. Two, Ethan. Damn. What a round. Four, Perfect. Six, Six, round. Five. Wow. Fifteen okay. five. And now Yolanda is up, and she is going to be giving a spin here. And Yolanda, give it a give it a good spin, please. All right, that's a good spin. That's a good spin. Spin is in. Spin is in. Spin is in. Spin is in. It went around. It went around. It went around. You spin me right round. Uh oh. Right round. Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise. Oh, she's Cruise. looking for a round. Tom, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Do you, do you want to spin again? Spin again. You're good. She's okay. going to spin again. Tom Cruise. Cruise. All right. All right. You have selected Thomas Cruise Maypother questions here. <laughs> here we go. Four questions in this round. First one up. Who plays the thief that Ethan Hunt recruits and falls in love with in Mission Impossible 2? Uh, I don't know that one. Five. Multiple choice? Multiple, Multiple choice. choice. A. Tandy Newton. B. Zoe Saldana. C. Paula Patton. D. Rosario Tandy Dawson. Newton? A. That is correct for a point. Oh, okay. There she goes. I never said uh, Mission Impossible 2. two. Tom Cruise plays the character of Charlie Babbitt in what 1980s film? Cocktail? Can I do multiple choice again? You, can. you may. A. Cocktail. B. Rain Man. C. Risky Business. D. The Color of Money. B. Rain Man, that's correct. correct. Wapner's mm -hmm. on. Wapner's on. All right. <laughs> Third question out of four, Yolanda. What? was the name of the hitman played by Tom Cruise in the 2004 film Collateral? Oh, wow. Something white. A, Eugene. B, Abraham. C, Vincent D. Gregory. Vincent? A? That's incorrect. Ethan for a steal? Uh, C, Vincent. That's One correct. Point. Okay, One Vincent. point steal. A little bit more of that advantage back. All right, final question in this round. 
Tom Cruise dances in his underwear, thank God, to which song <laughs> in the 1983 film Risky Business? Wow. That's, um, I'm going to have to do multiple Fine. choice on blank. A, nothing's going to stop us now. B, old time rock and roll. C, twist and shout. D, touch me all night long. It's B. That is correct is, for okay. points. So with that, Yolanda still gets herself. She does. She can get into the third round here. Ethan has a nice lead here, though. Of eight. He's got an eight point lead. Sixteen to eight going into round number three, and it's going to work. The following, the competitors will get three numbers between one and twenty. First one will be worth two points. Second one worth three. Third one worth five points. Okay, Ethan, you are in the lead here. Please pick three numbers from one to twenty. Seven, 17, and 20. Seven, 17, and 20. Yolanda. Yolanda. Five, eight, and 11. Five, eight, and 11. All right. Okay, Yolanda, you are up first here with your two pointer Denzel Washington movies. Denzel Washington movies. Who played the preacher's wife in the 1996 romantic comedy, The Preacher's Wife? The goddess Whitney Houston. Two points. <laughs> That's correct. Okay, Two so points. Yolanda keeps herself alive here. She stays now with with category number eight. She is in must get. She's got to get all three of these in order to stay in the game. So no pressure, right? The next one is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Oh. What year was the horror crossover Freddy vs. Jason released? Two thousand three. Yeah, I was almost in high school. It was 2003. 2003, 2004. Five, four, six. And your winner, by way of Hector Tonaga, Ethan Victor Oh, I got it there. It was 2003. Just had so many, so many points that he kind of racked up. I got 12 in total.